Hey, what's up and welcome back to my channel and uh, today let's talk about do guppies need oxygen and when I say this I mean do guppies need like an air stone or like a sponge filter in the aquarium and uh, not not necessarily oxygen in the water because all fish need oxygen but uh, we're talking about like an air stone or something constantly giving off bubbles and my answer to that is no you don't need it but there are some circumstances in which you would need it and that's basically what we're going to talk about so let's talk about the first sign uh, that you might need oxygen in your tank so if you know for a fact your tank is cycled and you see your fish sitting at the top uh, gulping air then that's probably a good sign they need oxygen and the reason I say you need to make sure your tank is cycled is because if you have ammonia or uh, high nitrite in your tank they could be sticking up at the top of the aquarium uh, because they're trying to escape a toxic environment and uh, this is sometimes why you see fish jumping out of their tank as well so another thing I would look at is uh, a couple things how populated is your tank because you know if you have a ton of fish in it you're gonna need more oxygen because they're gonna be consuming more oxygen and aquariums are a closed environment um, the next thing is your tank size. Now, if you have a really small tank and it has maybe not very much fish, but, you know, s super small tanks can't necessarily sustain, you know, five, six, seven fish, you know. Um, so if you have a really small tank like a five gallon, yeah, you might need something generating more oxygen in combination with it being overpopulated, which I've seen a lot of people do. And in combination with that, say you have a a bunch of female guppies they're gonna be pooping out a ton of babies so you're gonna have to make sure that the babies have oxygen to survive too or they just might die off and not only that your other fish might die off too or uh, become more susceptible to illness because you know they're stressed out from not having oxygen or something like that so keep that in mind um, a good um, a good way to counter that and this is kinda two birds with one stone is a sponge filter uh, sponge filters will let you save the babies because you, you know they won't get sucked up in a filter and they'll also um, provide your tank with tons of oxygen and I, I still recommend I honestly recommend at least a 10 gallon tank for guppies anything smaller than that is just it's just too small and I, I just don't like it I mean you could do a five gallon with a couple guppies in it maybe one guppy but uh, you know sometimes guppies can be a little bit territorial uh, that's that's another video though Let's talk about my setup here. So I have a planted tank, and to be honest, I have put as many planted tank uh, plants in this tank as possible. I'm still adding more to it, and that's just to help with algae and help it be successful. But uh, because of that, um, I need more CO2 to help um, basically help these plants grow and uh, that's why I don't have like a sponge filter in here I actually had one in at first and then I took it out and that's when I started seeing more growth um, honestly I'm not a professional with plants so I'm not giving plant advice but what I am saying is that is what worked for me and because of that I'm not overwhelming the tank with guppies however I am gonna add more guppies um, maybe not tons but you want to add enough to where it looks nice and you know there's always a guppy on screen or something like that um, so and at that point I might need to add a sponge filter but I honestly I want the plants to be a little bit stronger and more established first before I do that um, so that's the plan uh, I hope you guys liked this video and I will see you guys on the next one toodaloo